it's been a very busy day, but I, yeah. The Libertarian Party is the largest of the U.S.'s so-called third parties, and Donald Trump's presumptive nomination has done them wonders. Once it was clear Donald Trump would get the Republican nomination, interest has skyrocketed. In fact, in the last four or five days, we got more new members than we typically get in four months. For the first time in many cycles, our convention is going to be uh, completely sold out. We, the hotel where we reserve space, all the rooms are gone. We're having to go to two other hotels, and that's because people want to be delegates to come to our convention to help us pick a president for a, a nominee for president to run against Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. However, though fiscally conservative, the Libertarians' platform on social issues like same-sex marriage or marijuana are anathema to mainstream Republicans, and the Libertarians are wary of being hijacked by the Republican Party anyway. I think an establishment Republican would have an overwhelmingly difficult time getting the votes of the Libertarian delegates. So what's an establishment Republican conservative to do? Deborah DeMoss Fonseca is the spokeswoman for Conservatives Against Trump. There are many people that are looking to find a candidate who might be willing to step to the plate and say, I will run, I will stand up for true conservative principles, I will stand up for America. Monday was the deadline for getting on the presidential ballot in Texas, crucial for the election. However, Fonseca is not concerned. Um, no, I don't think it's out of the question altogether. I think there could, there can always be legal challenges. There can be, there are any number of ways. This is a, a year where we, it's like the thousand year flood where we have never seen this happen before. Anything that's happening this year is new and uncharted waters. USA. An anti-Trump Republican candidate standing as an independent would split the right wing even further, almost ensuring a Democratic victory. Yet some Republicans now accept that a President Clinton would be closer to their platform on issues like trade and foreign policy than a President Trump. Their challenge is to give anti-Trump, anti-Clinton Republicans an incentive to vote in November. If they stay at home, not only will the White House be lost, but Republican control of Congress may be wiped out too. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.